Hey guys, welcome to Ben's Works. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to cut a square bottle. So the first thing you're going to need is one of these glass cutters. Now I got this one off eBay for a couple of bucks. I took the end off here, screwed it to a block of wood, and then I fixed my block of wood to my workbench. Now, the most important thing here is the roller on the end must protrude past your workpiece. So when you bring your glass up to it, it doesn't impede anywhere and you can get a nice solid contact point. Now, I had to pack mine up a little bit just here because we're on cutting mine, I'm actually going to turn them into a tea light candle holder. But if you wanted to cut, say, the middle or at the top, you just put your cutter on a tall block of wood and it's still the same process. So the most important thing when cutting is to try and do it in one pass. What you want to do is make a score line of just one because if you make multiple score lines, there's a chance that the crack could take a different path and ruin your project. Okay, so what you want to do, nice even pressure. And you can hear it scoring the glass. Go nice and slowly around your corners to make sure you get good contact. Just take your time if you have to. There's no rush, just make sure you get that nice one score line. Okay, so there is our score line right there. So once you've done that, I'll show you what to do next. So the next thing we'll do is we'll boil the kettle and we'll make sure we got some cold water on hand. So now you want to get yourself a nice large bucket. Now I just chucked a tea towel on the bottom here just to break the fall of the glass as it goes in. Now you want to get your boiling hot water and your bottle and you can see our score line there so what you're going to want to do is just evenly pour it around that score line so nice and easy keep rotating the bottle all the way around and you're going to want to do this for about 20 seconds or so just get nice even heat around there now once you've done that, swap out to your cold water, and once again, keep turning that bottle, get that coolness even all the way around. Because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to shock the glass into cracking on our score line. Now it probably will take a couple of attempts, so just go back to your hot water again. nice clean cut that turned out great so what you can do now if you like depending what you're using it for for what I'm using it for I probably don't need to sand them but if you want you can get a bit of sandpaper just to smooth it down a little bit so it's a bit softer to touch but normally it actually feels quite good straight off the score line so it's up to you what you want to do with that one well, there it is guys, how to cut your square bottle. It's really simple, score a line, hot water, cold water, and then again if you need to, hot water, cold water, and you'll get a nice cut. I haven't even sanded these edges and they look great. So the reason I cut my bottle really low like this is I'm actually gonna turn it into a tea light candle holder. You get a few of these, put them around your table at night, and they look great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Like and subscribe if you want. I try and put new build videos out every couple of weeks. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.